Department of Biotechnology, Ministry of Science and Technology, Government of India has released the notification for Ramalinga Swami Reentry Fellowship 2021-2022. Let's take a look at a quick overview of what this fellowship is. The Ramalinga Swami Reentry Fellowship is a prestigious reentry scheme of the Department of Biotechnology, Ministry of Science and Technology which was initiated in the year 2006-2007. It aims to create a pool of highly skilled and trained researchers working on cutting-edge technologies in Indian universities and institutions, as well as building a critical mass of science leaders aimed at competence building in biotechnology. It's open for highly skilled researchers, especially Indian nationals, working overseas in various cutting-edge disciplines of life sciences, biotechnology, bioengineering, and all other allied areas by providing them with an attractive avenue to pursue their R&D interests in Indian universities and institutions. Let's quickly take a look if you're eligible for this fellowship. Scientists working in any area of life sciences and biotechnology Bioengineering, healthcare, agriculture, and veterinary biotechnology, bioenergy, and allied areas will be eligible to apply. The applicant should possess a PhD or an MD degree or equivalent in life sciences, agriculture, bioinformatics, or an MTech in engineering or technology with at least three years of postdoctoral research experience in overseas research laboratories. Applicants who have already returned to India within one year of the closing date of this advertisement are also eligible to apply. Applicants should have a proven outstanding track record as evident from research publications and recognitions. The upper age limit for applying is 45 years. So why should you apply for a Ramalinga Swami Fellow? So this is a senior fellowship program and the awardees are to be considered equivalent to assistant professors, scientist D level positions. Fellows are entitled to take up teaching, research assignments and supervise PhD and MS students. The scheme provides a consolidated monthly remuneration of rupees 1 lakh per month. In addition, you have house rent allowance and Fellows will also receive a research or contingency grant of rupees 10 lakhs per year. So what is the tenure of the fellowship? The fellow can draw fellowship for a term of five years. Fellowship is further extendable for another two years on a fresh appraisal. Those who are able to secure permanent positions will not be considered for the second term. Now let's move on to the how to apply. The application process for this fellowship is exclusively online mode only. You need to register on the portal, fill in the application and submit it. Once that is done, you need to also submit a hard copy of the submitted application form. If you want to know more details on this fellowship, you can check out the Biotechnica website. You can also view this on our Biotechnica official app the link for which is available in the description box. The link to this specific page is also available in the description box. So comment below if this fellowship attracted you and what else you would like to know from us. And make sure that you are subscribed to the Biotechnica YouTube channel and you follow us on all of our social media. And don't forget to join us over at Telegram because that is where you'll get all of your news first. All the best and thank you.